Question 10. The following table shows the monthly income tax rates of a certain year. Monthly income in Kenya shillings. Uh, then the tax rate percentages in each shilling is given there. That year, a monthly relief of 2,400 was allowed. The net tax on Lesiento's monthly income was 1,500 shillings. Calculate Lesiento's monthly income. So this is a backward taxation where you're given the, the net tax and the relief. You're supposed to get the income. So since you're moving backwards, the first thing you calculate is the gross tax. The gross tax. So we begin from the gross tax. So how do you get the gross tax? Gross tax is given by you take the net tax and add the relief. In this case, the net tax is 15 is given. Then the relief is 2,400. When you add these, you get the gross taxes 3,900. Now we need to get the amount of the income that was taxed in order to get this gross tax of 3900 let's go to the slabs so the first slab so the first slab what is the income in the first slab it is a 24000 from 0 to 24000 so that the size of that slab is 24000 times uh, we multiply the rate in that slab is 10% 10% and it's good to note whatever you're going to get here is the tax in Kenya shilling so you get a tax of 2400 so here you'll get the tax and then this is the income whatever you are taxing is the income 24000 is the income then after you tax you get 2400 so what we need to get is in the first slab we've obtained a tax of 2400 but we have a tax of 3900 so let's go to the second slab what is the size of the second slab the size of the second slab if you subtract this is uh, 32 32333 minus 24000 you get that figure as 8333 that is the size of the slab and if we tax just testing if you tax that uh, if i tax that amount that is 8333 times 25 percent i'll get a tax of 2083 2083 and 25 cents so when you come and add it here 2083 and 25 cents when you add everything here you'll notice that it is going to exceed the tax that you have already we, we are we are getting that is 3900 remember we have a tax of 3900 but when you add 2400 from the first lab and add uh, 2083.25 having taken the whole size of that the whole amount in that slab second slab you will find 4000 above 4000 so that will be more therefore we need to know the exact amount we don't know that amount that is there in the second slab it is not the whole amount that is going to be taxed so since we don't know that amount we can let that amount in the second slab to be represented by y because it is not the whole amount, 8,333. Then the rate is 25%. And that one should give us 1,500. Should give us 1,500. Why 1,500? Because we are taxing 39. We, are, we want to get a tax of 3,900. In the first lab, we already have 2,400. The total tax that you are targeting to get is 3,900. So what is remaining in the second slab? In the second slab, we must have a tax of 24. So that is why we are subtracting 3900 minus 2400. And this will give 1500. So this is what is going to the second slab. That is the tax that must be there. So that you get now the total is 3900. So now you can get the value of y. So y times 25% is equals to 1500. So y will be given by, we are solving this, y times 25% is equal to 1500. Make y the subject. You get y is equal to 1500 times the reciprocal of 25 over 100, which is 100 over 25. And y will give you 6000. So 6000 is the amount, is the exact amount that should be here. This is the income that should be here. That is the value of y. When you tax 6000 uh, by this rate, 25%, you should get 1500. So now the question is, 
the monthly income. So total monthly income is the income from the income from the first slab, which is 24,000, plus the income in the second slab, which I've obtained as 6,000. And this one will give 30,000. So that is how we're supposed to solve that.